unit commands, relay your current position and status. All units, be aware we are receiving help from a non-NCR military asset. Snipers in position. Repeat, snipers in position. Caesar on the cross. Been a long time since I've seen the kind of work you've laid down today. A damn long time. And the screams of those Legion bastards as they kick dirt running east like a choir of angels to my ears. Speaking of, that crazy light show over the fort? What the fuck was that? Some kind of thumb of God you called down? Amazing. Fucking amazing. Could use a hundred of you. Just scatter you over the east like jacks. Give those plum fucks the what for. What the hell are you on about? House. He's just a rumor on this trip. Never leaves his... What is this Brahmin shit? I'm not getting the feeling we're all about to sing Kumbaya here. What the hell are you talking about? What is this? The free economic zone of New Vegas? What the hell does that mean? Oh, wait, here we go. Demands NCR's immediate withdrawal. Withdraw? Like fucking hell we're withdrawing! We just held the dam! We didn't do it to let it go! This paper of yours isn't fit to wipe my ass. If you think after all that's happened, I'm going to grab my ankles and take it like the Legion, You know I won't surrender the dam, and certainly not to the ghost man of Vegas and his new right hand of the week. We held this place for years. Kicked one legged out of here so hard Caesar burned him to a crisp. It's our post. We fought for it. I'll fight for it again today. If you're looking to convince me otherwise, you better have a lot more reasons than you just telling me to go. True. Guess I'm a little too used to seeing Securitrons in Vegas to think they'd turn and be bad news. And I know how bad they can get. <laughs> Look. House. Vegas. It's pretty. Got you blinded a bit, maybe. But NCR's got perks, too. Think about it before you sign on with them. And if you say no, keep in mind what that means. NCR may have its problems, but when we rile, watch out. Well, at least I can talk to you unlike that bastard Caesar and his play-faced general. It'll do. Guess sometimes you get the bull, other times you get the horns. Still, at least some lives got saved this day. You know, I've had thousands of employees in my time. Few met my expectations. Fewer still surpassed them. Your performance has been nothing short of spectacular. If I have need for a specialist of your stripe again, I'll know just where to turn. Back to Vegas, shall we? I really should do something about that monorail with all the new resources at hand. 
I can make sure it not only runs, but runs on time. Always bothered me, the imprecision. No need to worry about the general, by the way. He'll be held responsible, publicly disgraced. 36.5% probability of suicide, by my estimate. Kimball won't be able to save him. He'll be too busy getting thrown out of office. But less than a 3% chance of suicide, mind you. Vegas might see a dip in revenue for a few months, half a year. But soon enough, the tourists and their money will be pouring in. Vegas will be a shining jewel in the middle of the desert, an oasis of light, a beacon to show mankind the way to the stars. This is just the start, you see. This is where it all begins. And so the courier who had cheated death in the cemetery outside Good Springs cheated death once again, and the Mojave Wasteland was forever changed. Mr. House's Securitron army took control of Hoover Dam and the Strip, pushing both the Legion and the exhausted NCR out of New Vegas. Mr. House continued to run New Vegas his way, a despotic vision of pre-war glory. The streets were orderly, efficient, cold. New Vegas continued to be the sole place in the wasteland where fortunes were won and lost in the blink of an eye. The courier, fair and kind-hearted to those in the wasteland, ensured that Mr. House would keep New Vegas stable and secure for future generations. Mr. House afforded him every luxury at his disposal in the Lucky 38, out of gratitude and a quiet sense of pride for his choice in lieutenants. Black Mountain Radio continued to broadcast its peculiar form of propaganda. Raul Tejada faced his execution each day, though pardoned in the end. Travelers venturing too near Black Mountain continued to be harassed by Tabitha's followers. Mr. House showed little interest on the boomers, who eventually began venturing out to Nellis to meet and trade with travelers. Buried beneath tons of rubble, the Mojave chapter of the Brotherhood of Steel was no more. Those few who were outside the Hidden Valley bunker when it was destroyed settled into new lives, or headed west to find a new chapter to join. The Fiends staged an attack against Camp McCarran during the Second Battle at Hoover Dam. During the NCR's retreat, the Fiends overwhelmed many of the troopers before Mr. House's Securitrons could deal with them. After Mr. House gained control of New Vegas, he sent a Securitron to Good Springs as a token of appreciation for helping the courier. Victor was a mixed blessing, however, as he continually monitored the town for Mr. House. It took more time than anticipated for a cure for the Nightkin schizophrenia to be found, but in the end, it was beneficial to Jacobstown. The presence of the Nightkin leader, Keen, persuaded Nightkin from across the wasteland to make the journey to the town. Jacobstown prospered, becoming known as a fair, if somewhat intimidating, place for a trader to do business. Lily continued to take her medicine at half doses, and although she remembered her grandchildren, her mind remained muddled and confused. Eventually, she parted ways with the courier and traveled west, seeking the remnants of her past. Flush with his victory, Mr. House sent Securitrons into Freeside, thinking to increase his control over the area. When fighting broke out, the kings fought valiantly, but were no match for the armored chilling machines, and were wiped out to the last man. He had survived police service in Colorado, the Great War, combat duty with the Legion, and being the companion of the king. But in the end, Rex finally succumbed to the horrors of the wasteland. Though Novak was a low-priority target for the Legion, Many of Novak's citizens died in its defense. In the weeks that followed, several bright followers returned to Novak to help restore its defenses, allowing it to remain independent of NCR. The NCR, battered by the loss of the dam, were unable to devote any troops to retaking the correctional facility from the powder gangers. As a result, 
powder ganger raids on caravans became an unfortunate fact of life in the Mojave for years to come. Armed with a wide array of improvised explosives and stolen weapons, the Vault 19 powder gang tormented the Mojave wasteland for years. Citizens of the NCR were favorite targets, and they always suffered the worst fates. After Hoover Dam, Sheriff Myers runs Prim with his own style of frontier justice. He deals with most folks fairly, but now and then someone winds up dead with little to no evidence against them. And so the Courier's Road came to an end, for now. In the new world of the Mojave Wasteland, fighting continued, blood was spilled, and many lived and died just as they had in the old world. Because war, war never changes.